bottles on wine Picking up skills of every kind Old school thrills and modern frights We're serving up screens for 60 nights From ghastly new to aged gore Two months of chills, who could want more? It's flip flopped over, double the dread Laugh till you scream, we'll hide under the bed From cheesy slashers to eerie cold Two months of horror, new and old This week, we step into the cursed halls of Bezel, a 2024 supernatural horror film directed by Aaron Fradkin. Set in a house haunted by an ageless witch, this film spans over 60 years of terror. Did Bezel sink its teeth into us, or were we duped by a B-movie's marketing? Join us as we peek the, beneath the floorboards and wonder, where's Butthead? Had Bezel. <laughs> What's going uh, on? Okay. I how much mayonnaise do you put in her mouth? <laughs> oh, hey, that's gross. <laughs> Gary, um, let yes. me jump over to the Rotten Tomatoes. I can't wait. I can't wait to uh, hear the uh, Gary, numbers. I'm, I'm currently, as we speak, <clears throat> I am on the Rotten Tomatoes, so it's updated as we speak. On the interwebs. Yes. Uh, according to the critics, uh, it has uh, one review, so zero. There's no zero. It doesn't actually have a zero. There's just no ranking. No ranky. Uh, and over to the popcorn <clears throat> meter, which is the audience. It currently has 50 ratings and uh, none. There's no rating. So we got nothing on 50 the reviews. Board. No ratings. What well, should set us said that wrong. Say let what me, you mean to say. Let me start by saying that the reason this movie came up, you mother effers on TikTok. <laughs> uh, I got suckered in by a TikTok that was one of the, this is the greatest horror film. Oh, dude. And I'm like, well, it looks interesting. So I watched the trailer, which I try to not do. And I got enough of the trailer that I was like, this could be a good, a good B movie horror film. Yeah. It, it looks like it, it has the markings. Uh huh. It I'm and we lost Andy. For a prop. Here. <clears throat> okay. TikTok. Thank you. Yes. This yes. book. This book. This and, this book. Oh my god. This book. But I gotta wait till thirty minute thirty seconds. Scar the scariest ever. This made Stephen King wish he'd never written a book. This is so scary. <laughs> yeah. TikTok, the bane of uh, everyone's existence. So, Beazle. So, <clears throat> this film, uh, you got the Rod Tomatoes on it. Let's just go ahead. Let's jump right into the ratings. On A quick reminder that our rating system is unconventional. We don't hand out stars. We hand out poos and TPs, up to five of them. And just to add more confusion, the more we give, the crappier we think the film is. Crappier, get it? Y yeah, it's dumb, but that's the way we do it. Where do you have it, Gary? I have Bezel at four TPs. <laughs> four. Uh, how are we doing on paper for how many poos we got? Uh, I went with uh, I went three and a half. Okay, um, we're not too far off. No, we're not too far off. And I, I sat at three for a while on this, and then for a minute, I, I was like, "Today I'm at work and I'm driving around. I'm like, well, maybe, you know, you know, you rehash things that you chew yeah. them up a little bit in your head." And I'm like, yeah. "Well, I kept going like, <clears throat> you know, like a lot of times when we're doing these shows, and you'll talk me out of my rating. Like you'll be talking. I'm like, yeah, maybe I did like this movie more than I thought. Shit. Yeah. So." I'm kind of talking to myself. I was like, yeah, I don't know. I kind of like this scene. I did kind of like this. And then I'm like, nah, you know, at the end of the day, I, I, I don't really, I, for me, I always go through what I recommend this to anybody. And at the end of the day, I probably wouldn't. I mean, right. maybe again, my daughter who is a horror fan, I might, I might have her watch it because she'll watch anything that's horror related. And while I, so th this is, let me read you my quick notes and then we, okay. you can say what you need to say. You can be the John Mayer next. Um, I wrote, this is an interesting film. I didn't love it or hate it. Um, I would have liked some backstory about uh, the, the one behind you. The, the, there's, there was no, and I think you said it a minute ago, there's no mythology. We, we have <laughs> zero what, why this is happening. You get a I little, know. you get a little bit of it because there is a discussion of like a witch that's born every, or the witch gives birth every 300 years or something. There is some sort of little 
it, it's it's just weak. That, it's just it weak. Is, it is. There's um, not enough there. So, so yeah, <laughs> as we get to how, how do we get to bezel? You know, is it summoned from ancient you know rune stones or whatever? And we just never get that. Uh, it, it would have taken a whole lot to create a mythology, and they just didn't do it. And that's just a failure on the the creative people, the writers, and all that. And, and again, I always say like that's personally just that's me, and it's and I know it sounds petty, but that's just you know what I want. Uh, and then I put uh, I would have liked more depth, and I think this you know if 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 you did that that type of stuff with some backstory. <laughs> And maybe some legend behind it. This could have been a better film. I yeah. think the premise was actually really decent. Mm. Yeah, I like the idea. I mean, it's it's it it's got all the earmarks uh, for a, a good film. And uh, going into it, I had I knew zero about this film. And I'm watching. I was like, you know, I'm buying into some of this, but it just doesn't. At the end of the day, I get to the backstory, the the the, the mythology, and it's it's just really not there. Now, I did make a note that you know, like all the acting. Uh, the direction, the music was even, I mean, everything was good in this movie. I, I'm not crap. I have on an anything, exception but, to one thing in there, but um, I'll, I'll talk about it in a moment. But it's just, it's like they tried to move it too fast. They didn't let any, anything really build to where it needed to be. So that's where I was at with it. So that's where I kind of put it at three and a half. It, it, I mean, at the end, of, you, I don't think you'd be angry when you get done watching it, but you'd be doing the same thing like, hmm. Kind of use a I, little something. Yeah, I would say that I landed at four because of disappointment. Um, okay. F- first of all, the structure of the film. Okay, with with mythology, I think you're right. I think it could have been better, and the pacing could have been worked a little better too. I feel like the thing that's interesting about it, and th- the thing I will give them credit for, is the idea is a good idea. I like the thought of it's. It's actually almost like a couple of vignettes put together. Yeah. Of different time periods, but of the same sort of thing that's going on. So you've got, so it's almost like, oh, I don't know where this is going to end up on our flick floptober list, but creepy pasta, whereas creepy pasta, and we've talked about this and we may not have talked about it yet when you're watching this, that one was a bunch of different little stories that had really nothing to do with each other. This one yeah. did. This one was like, it was one concept, but then it was different time periods. And I thought that's an interesting concept. I thought yeah. the concept of the witch was was interesting. Um, what I thought, what where it really got me was, I thought the first one was good. Like I, I was like, this is a, this is creepy and it's yeah, well was, done, and the acting was really good. I was buying into his story, yeah. and I wanted to see where it went. Yeah, they they play enough of the, the creepy guy with it, it's just really well done. The second one, not so much, and then when it gets into what really takes up the majority of the film, the second half of it, essentially. This is where I take exception to one thing you said. You were talking about the acting being so good. And I don't know that it's necessarily that that the woman who actually is one of the producers and writers yeah, of the film. Yeah, I think I know where you're going. I I have to think it was more the writing, but the character was just unbelievable. Like just not a yeah, believable I'll, character. Sure. At all. I, I'll, and, I'll agree with you on that. So and that I'll, took me out of the movie actually because it was so like like what is this? It, it just seemed, and and that really ruined it for me. That's a good half of the movie, though. So that's you remember uh, a note that I I jotted down. It's not here. It's on another. I had a scrap. I had a post-it note on my next to me. So I was writing post-it notes. And I transferred it. Over. I just didn't do this one because I was trying to watch this on an airplane, Gary. Yeah, um, probably not a good idea. <laughs> I turned out like oh. I was like, there's certain scenes like I mean, people can yeah. see my screen. Like I'm yeah. closing my life. But anyway, uh, one thing I will say that. Again, I know if 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 you use logic, then this movie goes out the window, and right. I I understand that. But there's a part of this movie where uh, someone's in the basement, they hear a noise, they're running because they're scared, yeah, and they're they're running up the stairs to get out of the basement, which we all would do, right? Except, oh wait, here's this creepy little door. Yeah. What's the noise behind the door? <laughs> and that noise that's scaring the living crap out of me is it's coming from behind this door. Hey, yeah. let me go ahead and open this door. Yeah. And this is that whole, that little trope of like, Hey, someone's trying to kill us. Let's run away. No, let's go hide behind all the chainsaws in the open shed right. back there. That commercial right. It's like, 
these things would play. I, I don't know. I guess again, because it's logic and that doesn't fall into, it doesn't make sense in the horror world, but it's that, a very in my short head, movie. If logic comes in. Yeah. Play. Yeah. So maybe I'm just being an idiot, but like, <laughs> wait, what? There's something scary downstairs. I just leave the house. And and the movie's over. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, it's like, why would you stop? Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that part. Cause she goes, she is leaving and she yeah. sees the little, and that was another thing too. I thought there was a couple little things about the house that the way it was laid out was interesting. Yeah. Um, the other thing about that scene, and I hate to say spoiler on this because it is kind of a little bit. Well, of a no spoiler, one's going to watch it. But she opens the door and then she sees, and and the person's really far back there in the dark, and she's like, "Is that you?" I'm gonna like, no, I don't care who that is. I'm out. If you're stuck in there, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, and, and she goes, "I'll save you." Wait a minute. There's something behind you that you were just, you know, like scared and running from. Why would you then crawl into the spot that could be latched? When you're in, and you can't get out. Yeah, it was dumb. (laughs) Dumb. That's where the writing, I think, fails a little bit because you can't. Yes, there is. There's a way that there's always going to be the the logic twist that you can't get past. That nobody in their right mind thinks this way and does this. But it was against so so much common sense that just make it made it laughable. I think, Um, and that's kind of what that character, the one I'm talking about later that does too, is like everything that that character does just seems like laughable. Cause it seems like the writing, like nobody acts like that. Yeah. So um, I'm trying to think, um, there was a scene in this thing that, and, and I'm, I I've watched a lot of movies where I don't want to confuse movies. So if this is wrong, stop me and edit it Gary. But I believe in this movie is where she's holding a video camera and she sits it underneath the bed. Yes. And then she sees the feet crawl up into the bed. Yeah. Oh, dude. I was like, now that I like. That is yeah. well done because I was like, because she pops back up and she doesn't see anything. And I'm like, right. That's just creepy. Yeah. Uh, and I like that stuff. So g- g- kudos on that. That's a pretty inventive way to, to really relay a, a, a creep out. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, I think the the thin part of that whole second half with that girl was the fact that she felt necessary to record everything. It's just um, not explained. Yeah, it's like why it, is she walking around carrying a camera the whole time? It makes sense with the first one. Yeah, like the first one is the whole point is the videographer guy coming in, and it's like that's cool, and I like the way they did that. But I don't know. I mean, uh, good ideas, just not very well executed, and I just think. This was a spark of a good good plan. Yeah. And they just needed better writing. Game. Yeah. So look, I mean, look, if 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 uh you're having some friends over, you just want to have you're watching for your flick flop tober and you're just watching horror films, you need something you haven't seen over. Yeah, throw it on in the background, but don't get wrapped up with it if we do for looking for logic and reason. Yeah. Well, you're likely to sit around making fun of it, like laughing at it or something. Yeah, I mean it's not gonna be there, but it it's not, you know. Like, I think my dad would enjoy this movie, but my dad's 81. <laughs> so, well, you know, uh, I'm, I mean, I, I dad watch it to me. I, I, I like to get his, his point on it. Gary should have one of your kids watch it. Give us a. Yeah, I, this was one that I, I'm actually kind of glad I didn't watch with one of my daughters because of one of the scenes in there <laughs> would have been a little awkward, but yeah. 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 That's okay. I, I had to explain my daughter. I had a discussion about terrifier or, one there's a scene in that movie that oh it's uh yeah. i can only imagine we just like we just brushed over that one yeah 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 anyway all that's right. all i got here i mean it, it i i didn't hate that you made me watch it uh but i'll probably never watch it again <laughs> and i watched it it was like oh man andy's gonna be mad <laughs> so, <laughs> well right. you know gary you're always gonna do okay with me because you know i like bad horror films and again yeah. that's kind of what we do we, we watch bad movies to try to see if there's anything salvageable about them you know mm, but uh look i enjoy a bad horror film i just sometimes it's like then i get wrapped up like I, i'm buying into your story but then yeah ah, you let me down right there shit yeah yeah i have to go watch saw again <laughs> Uh, well, thanks everybody. Please like, comment, subscribe. And Andy, what do you want to tell them? Uh, uh, go Bengals. I knew if I put you on the spot, you wouldn't uh, know. I know. Like, I don't know. Uh, flick, flock, if you do see Beasel, 
go down in the comments and let us know what you thought about it. Yeah, tell us. Let us know how many poos or TPs you would give it. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you next time. This has been a Touch of Madness production brought to you by the creative minds at Tommy Twins Media.